about two and a half hour drive outside of London to town or the city of uh, Derbyshire. And when I hear locals say that name, it sounds nothing like that. So I'm <laughs> saying the way it, the way it's spelled. So, uh, but yeah, the festival was good. Uh, really warm, like crazy hot. Like towards the end of the festival, they actually had to stop uh, the showers to spare the water because people were drinking so much water. Uh, so uh, they had to uh, do some uh, some quick planning there. Pretty big crowds. I mean, it's not nothing like the size of uh, Bakken. Uh, the capacity is about 20K. Uh, you could also buy day tickets to this festival. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. A lot of European festivals don't let you do that. So, but on the popular days, it was crowded. Like you, like you know, even like at Wacken when there's eighty five thousand people, like the field's huge, right? Like you, it, yeah. it looks like everyone's crammed together, but you could actually walk like through people. Uh, here, this you're just jammed in. So, like, yeah, it definitely felt a bit <laughs> claustrophobic. Did like what what Wacken did last year? A nice tribute to uh, Lemmy. They had his ashes, his boots, his hat, uh, all set up in like uh, what is locker? What is uh, um, what do you call it? Like his room uh, when he did uh, festivals. How he had his uh, backstage area set up. Um, so that was kind of cool. Also, kind of. Uh, camping, I was done. Uh, I, I was pretty much done uh, after uh, whacking like all those days sleeping on the uh, hard ground. <laughs> And then I had to do part two. So, yeah, that was a bit rough uh, in your 50s. Uh, but I got through that. So that's kind of interesting. And one thing that's kind of cool, I like, they, they have some different rules for different camping areas. Like, there's some campgrounds where there's a sound curfew. Uh, yeah. So that's really unique, right? Because, like, at Wacken, like, it, people are, are partying and blaring music all night long. Because uh, you got people from all over the world in different time zones. So I appreciated that. So the the festival runs uh, Thursday, but not many bands play Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, only four stages and, and really only one big like outdoor stage. The rest are smaller uh, in, in tents. Uh, <clears throat> In terms of highlights, just quickly, like Thursday, uh, there wasn't that many bands who played, but uh, Hell Ripper and Evergrey were, were two great bands, uh, Evergrey being the prog uh, metal, uh, and a cool band, uh, Tail Gunner, uh, who uh, are really kind of cool. They, they have like a Maiden type uh, sound. Yeah. Um, yep. so that's kind of cool. Friday uh, was uh, Enslaved, uh, Nervosa, uh, Grand Magus, uh, which is a cool Swedish band that, that I don't Yo, think yeah. I've ever seen They're before. Cool. Uh, Opeth, uh, Rotting Christ, and Hate Breed. Um, Saturday was maybe the Saturday and Sunday were the better days. Uh, Saturday was a DSI. Uh, and it was kind of cool to see Forbidden with uh, Chewy uh, playing guitar. So that was kind of. Right. He pretty much stuck to the to the script, so he didn't break out into any unusual Voivod uh, uh, solos <laughs> or anything like that. So uh, Unleashed the Archers were fantastic again. Crowd loved them, just the same as in Germany the week before. And then uh, another female uh, thrash band, death band, uh, Crypta. Uh, <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Then Sunday, the last day, because uh, I, I missed them in Germany, I, cho I chose to see other bands but here i watched uh, uh, amon amarth um so that was oh, cool yeah. parkis cool. uh one of my a band i love sewin uh which is like oh, aggressive cool. melodic uh all former like uh a lot of them were death metal musicians in the past uh members of opeth uh the original opeth drummer it's his band uh then zentrix doing all of <laughs> Scattered existence and sadist uh, was pretty cool too. I haven't seen them in ages. So um, yeah, a good festival uh, all around. Um, it's about a hundred and ninety, hundred and eighty pounds. So that's you got to convert that back. Pounds are way more than U.S. or Canadian dollars. Um, but yeah, overall a good festival. I mean, if you like something smaller, I, I would recommend it, but it's also pretty crowded. So, uh, yeah. even though it's smaller, it feels like, like a busy festival. So, um, 
but yeah, I mean, I, I would do it again, but I'm not kind of in a rush. Like I find camping uh, two, uh, two weekends in a row, like it was like six days camping and whack in and then three days later camping for like four more days. So uh, it just, <laughs> it's rough for the 52 uh, year old uh, body. 